know you'd never let me down But will you lift me off the ground? Do you even know my name? And even when I'm safe and sound It could always turn around Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Let Me Down by Boy With You. So this song was suggested by this person on screen. And if you guys have any more song suggestions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be hopping into the chords of this song. So there's six chords we're going to be needing. And our first one is going to be our E chord. So first of all, we'll be placing our index finger on the first fret of the first string there. Next, our middle finger is going on the 2nd fret of the 4th string. And lastly, our pinky is going to be going on the 4th fret of the 2nd string there. And all together, that gives us our E chord. Moving on to our next chord, really similar to our E chord, is our E major 7 chord. With the only difference being we're going to be lifting that pinky off and placing our ring finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string there, just like that. So having that middle and index finger still in the same spot, that's our E major 7 chord. Like that. For our next chord, we have our D flat minor 7. So for this one, we're placing our index finger, 1st fret of the 1st string once again. Next, our middle finger is going on the 1st fret on the 2nd string, so just below that index finger. And lastly, our ring finger is going on the 2nd fret on the 4th string there. And all together, that gives us a D flat minor 7. And now for our next chord, we have our G flat minor. So we're going to be placing our index finger on the 1st fret 2nd string there. Next, our middle finger is going on the 2nd fret 1st string. There. And lastly, our ring finger is going on the 2nd fret 3rd string there. And all together, that's our G flat minor. For our next chord, really similar to this G flat minor shape, is our A. And all we're doing is lifting off that ring finger. So now we're only pressing our index finger, 1st fret 2nd string, and middle finger, 2nd fret 1st string. For our A. And now for our final chord, we have our B. So this is our bar chord. So we're going to be barring that second fret with our index finger like that. Next, our middle finger is going on the third fret second string there. And lastly, our ring finger is going on the fourth fret of the first string. And all together, that gives us our B. And they're the chords, so I'll run through those one more time. We have our E chord, our E major 7, our D flat minor 7, our G flat minor, our A, and lastly our B. And that's it for the chords. Okay, so now we're going to be hopping into the verse of this song. So this is where we're going to be learning the plucking. So what we're going to be doing is playing the chords in the same order I taught them to you. However, we're only going to be focusing on the first three chords. So for example, we're going to be starting on that E. And our plucking is just going to be playing each string individually. So for example, we're starting from the top string to the bottom. So we're going... Like that. So we're going... Like that. So we do that, we yeah, we go through each string four times for each chord. So that's our E, so we're going like that. And after we play that four times through for our E, we move to our E major seven and do the exact same thing. We go Like that. And now when we get to our D flat minor 7, this is where we're going to play it 8 times through instead of just the 4. So we're going... Like that. 
So running through that again, we have our E. So if four times through. To our E major seven. And then to our D flat minor. Eight times through. Like that. So that part there repeats, I believe it's four times throughout the verse. And then after you play that four times through, this is where we add on the extra chords. So for example, we play, let's say this is our last time playing this. So we're going. Like that. So after we play that D flat minor seven, this is where we're going to be playing our G flat minor now as well. And for this one, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. So we're going like that. So four times through playing those strings. And then after our G flat minor, we move to our A. So just lift off that ring finger and we do the exact same thing again. Like that. I believe that was four times, I wasn't counting there, but yeah. And then after that A chord, we move to our B. And now this is where we're actually just gonna play it through six times instead of four times. So we're going. Just like that. And yeah, so that's it for the verse. So running through that again, if we were to play it on the fourth time through, we're going. Just like that. And I apologize for the plucking there, got a bit wonky at the end. But yeah, that's it for the verse, so now let's hop into the chorus. Okay, so now moving on to the chorus, it's gonna be a little bit easier compared to the verse since the plucking's a lot easier. So once again, we're gonna be starting on that E chord and we're gonna pluck each string twice for this chord. So we're going one, two. Like that, so one, two and then after we pluck our E string sorry E chord two times through we go to our E major 7 chord and we do the same thing we go one two like that and then we move again to our D flat minor 7 and this is where we pluck each string four times this time so we're going one two like that. And then after our D flat minor seven, we go to our G flat minor and we go two times through. So one, two. And after those two plucks, we go to our A, do the exact same thing. One, two, like that. And lastly, our B, where we plug each string four times. So we go one, two, three, four. Just like that. So putting all that together now, we're going E, E major seven, D flat minor seven, G flat minor, A, Like that. And I'll go a bit quicker this time, so we're going. And yeah, that just repeats throughout the chorus. You can also add on the vocals, so you can go. I know you never let me down. Will you lift me off the ground? Do you even know my name? And so on. 
And yeah, that's all there is to let me down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it a little bit helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And once again, if you guys have any more song suggestions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.